When you buy SOLIDWORKS, you have SOLIDWORKS Standard, Professional, and Premium. And one of the differences in Premium is that you can import CATIA v5 files. With the standalone license, that's easy to figure out. But if you have a network license, how does it pull that license? Initially, when SOLIDWORKS is running, it's going to pull a standard license. But if we look at Premium, it's not being used yet. So let's go open up a CATIA v5 model. So here I have a mouse cat part file. We'll open it up. And while we open it, we'll refresh and notice that it's pulling the SOLIDWORKS Premium license. Once the file is open, now we refresh. The Premium license has been released, but we are still using a standard license since SOLIDWORKS is still running. Pretty cool. But now, what if your CATIA file actually has PMI data? Don't forget, in SOLIDWORKS, you're going to need to turn on the add-in for SOLIDWORKS MBD. Once you do that, now when you convert your CATIA file, you'll need to make sure that you include the PMI. Once that gets converted, you'll notice that you have annotation views that you can activate and reorient, and that way you can get to all your annotations and dimensions.